A young man that they say could not be nothing, couldn't do nothing. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. We need to understand that we are a part of something bigger than who we are. It's amazing what God should be one foundation. Welcome to a life-changing experience with Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Evangelist Jerry Thompson has a sincere compassion and love for winning souls. Because the love of God has set him free from a life of crime and drugs, the need to go back and reach others has become a passion for Jerry Thompson. He illustrates his gratefulness towards God through the gift of writing and singing that the Lord has blessed him with. May you enjoy the music ministry of Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Reverend Jerry Thompson. Remember, Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where a nobody becomes a somebody. And there's a somebody in you, there's a somebody in me. You know, oftentimes you hear about all the violence and crime that's going on in our community all around the world, senseless killing through gun crimes, schools being shot up, communities are not safe, uh, families are, are not allowing their children to go out certain time of the night. That's not the kind of community we want. And oftentimes we wonder who out there can make a difference and who can make the most difference. That's you and I. What I did in order to make a difference is I put my gun down and that's how I made a difference. And today I'll be sharing my true life testimony with you as to why I put the gun down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for all you wonderful people out there, if you're watching me, if you're watching this video at this time, ain't nothing wrong with that video. I just got to tell you that the reason why I want to do it this way is that you would know what our children are facing. There are many things that are going out there and you can't see it. The reason why you can't see it is because life's pressure and the moments in life keeping you busy. But our children are exposed to drugs and crime. They're exposed to so many different elements out there that they need somebody somebody is out there that is also exposed to be an example and i think the lord has truly chosen me jerry thompson to be an example the reason why is because i got a testimony and it goes a little bit like this i was involved out there i was the man with a gun in my waist yeah that's right a gun in my waist i'm not proud of it don't think that I'm here to talk to you because I want to show you and prove that I can be bad. I'm here only because I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And this is the reason why I want you to know that there is hope for those who are out there. There's plenty of hope for the drug dealer. There's plenty of hope for the man that's carrying the gun. There's plenty of hope for the girl that's doing prostitution. There's plenty of hope for each and every one. And I'm going to tell you my story now. And it all started out in Orlando, Florida. Not more than about, about two years ago. By the time you receive this tape, or this, it'll be about two years. And I want you to know that the only thing that can change, changes, and there are truly changes that are needed to be made is the word something that each and every one of us have in us and we have it in us we cannot realize how powerful that word is the police try they spend millions and millions of dollars on drugs trying to prevent drugs but the only thing that we have is that secret weapon and it's called l-o-v-e and that word love is going to shine a light that you may see who's speaking right now the word love is strong. Let, let me say it to you over and over and let the light shine and come to you. Love, love changes things. Love 
gives you light and light gives you love oh, and I sincerely mean that folks I'm here not to waste my time anymore because I've wasted enough already what I've done is I've put the gun down and that's the way I've expressed love how can you how can you express love to those who are out there like myself can you help them that they may put their gun down and that they may stop dealing the drugs it all happened as I was saying before in Orlando Florida I was walking around with a gun in my waist just waiting for a good reason to squeeze it off mm. and believe me if you're on the street running around with a gun you're always looking out for yourself and the guy that's just gonna rub you the wrong way just the wrong way because you feel secure because you're on the street walking around with a gun and you don't know what's coming your way but let me tell you the man that's out there with a the gun right now I trust that this testimony may be a help for you because when I went down to Orlando Florida leaving Canada thinking that I was gonna be in the land of opportunity where I do better than what I was doing in Canada better didn't come my way better starts in the home better starts if from in the heart better start from when the Word of God says young man I'll call you because you're young and strong to go into the highways and byways to tell somebody about love to tell somebody about what your mother taught you as a young man growing up mothers fathers I want to truly thank you for being there for teaching me grandma I want to give the grandmothers the uttermost respect because the Word of God says grow a child the way in which he ought to be grown and he shall not cannot depart from it I've had that experience and I found out to be true because I was on my way to go kill a man to shoot somebody in Florida a place they call Ivy Lane and I saw a church on the right hand side and I felt compelled to walk into that church but you know what it was that compelled me the seed that was planted as a young man that seed that that grew with inside of me to become a full-grown man but through the path of life through the path of life I took a wrong turn but for all you people out there who's taken that wrong turn I want to tell you that there is a better way that's why I love Martin Luther King when he said I have a dream dreams are made to come true but dreams can become reality but in those dreams you need a plan and in reality we need to succeed to become a better people to become one as the word says united we stand divided we fall I've never known a man to clap one hand it takes two hands to clap the chain is only as strong as the weakest link folks which link are you gonna be you're either part of the problem or a part of the solution I thank God for Jesus because 14 months ago I became a part of the solution and no longer part of the problem Jesus brought me into that church and I knelt down and I said Lord Jesus I have no reason to kill nobody because he's done me wrong and this this was a man that I bought a Porsche from because I had the money I bought a Porsche from this man and he told me that the speedometer reading was only 80,000 miles and I took it after a week of owning in that vehicle and I checked the compression to see how many how much mileage was on that engine and I found out that it was hundred and eighty thousand miles folks that's right hundred and eighty thousand I got angry I got angry and being the hostile person as I was I said I'm gonna get even with that man I'm gonna get even I went looking for that man and I said to him sir you robbed me you ripped me off knowingly <laughs> and the man looked at me and said hey that's that's just the way things are but I ain't giving you back your money <laughs> I said sir sir you don't understand I'm willing to give you back eighteen hundred dollar out of that money for owning that car for one week because I was the one that was partially wrong so also by not checking the car out properly so I'm admitting my mistake I was wrong
to purchase this car without checking it properly. But here is $1,800 that you can take from the money and give me the balance. The man said no. And being as I just got, went to, to Florida, I said, well, I just got here. I'm going to make no friends this way by being bad. So let me keep it cool. I'm going to go through the courts. And I, I went to the small claims court where judges and jury get together to sort of hear your problems and tell you who's at fault before you go to Supreme Court. And they told me that this man was wrong to sell you this vehicle. At that mileage that he said it was, he lied to you. And in the state of Florida, in Canada, throughout the United States and out the world, you cannot mess with a speedometer on a car. It's against the law. It's illegal. So I thought that was grounds enough to get back my money. Anyway, that, that man, he ain't going to give me back my money. He just refused to do that. So he took it upon himself to come looking for me. He came down by a place that I used to hang out, and he asked, is Jerry Thompson there? A friend of mine says, no, man. He ain't here. You missed him by two minutes. Just two minutes he walked. He rushed out of here. Two minutes. And when that man turned around, my friend saw hand the hand of the gun in his pocket, holding on to the trigger, because he only saw the handle of the gun. But had it been me that answered that door, I wouldn't be here today to testify. Because in Florida, they don't warn you they're going to kill you. They just do it, or they leave you alone. But because of those two minutes, because of those two minutes is why I'm here today. I want to tell you something. God is real, man. You know how I know he's real? because he made a change in my life. Hallelujah, he gave me those two minutes to decide whether I wanted life or death, and I chose life. But I, I didn't choose it just then, I was angry. This man was gonna die. I went home and I cleaned my gun, and I looked up his address in the phone book, and I went looking for this man. You hear what I'm saying? I went looking for this man because I saw myself putting three bullets in this man. I wanted to murder this man. But you know what? That church on Ivy Lane, what my mama taught me as a boy growing up, she said, son, if you've tried everything, and I mean everything, and everything's failed, try Jesus. Because the word of God says, knock and it shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. There was no minister there to say, Jerry, don't do it. There was no friend there to say, Jerry, it's wrong to take somebody's life, man. But you know when the chips are down? Ain't nobody there. The decision is yours. And believe me, sometimes, many times, I find myself between a rock and a hard place, just like you, just like you, a place that you are right now, my friend. Listen to me, drug dealer. Listen to me, gunman. Give yourself a better chance. Try Jesus, man. If you put the drugs in the right pocket, believe me, God is there. Put him in the left. So when the deal does not go down, and somebody draw a knife at you or a gun at you and you can't do nothing else cry out for Jesus remember you got nothing else believe me you'll find out that how much power is in the name of Jesus there is power in the mighty name of Jesus because he says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world oh hallelujah he came not for the righteous listen to me he came not for the righteous but but for this for the lost the one that has the problem the one that that just can't find a way out you're the one that he's interested in you're the one because he done it for me and my God said he's no respect as a person he will save you only if you give him a chance and that is the reason why today I left Florida yeah I went looking for that man I did but I ended up in that church. Thank God for Jesus. I want to say thank you, Jesus, because you brought me out of the miry clay. You set my feet on the rock to stand, to go out there and tell you, my pimp friends, my prostitute friends, Sharon, everybody, anybody that will hear me <laughs> and who does not know me. Sharon, listen, let me tell you something, honey. You won't be a stripper forever. Mike, hear me. You'll not always be in that position that you are right now. 
I can't, no, I can't disclose your name. But remember, I was there once. I was you. And look what the Lord has done for me, man. I didn't do this through self, but he that believeth shall have life. And if you believe that your life can change, he says, ask and it shall be given. Knock and it shall be opened. I did ask. I said, Lord Jesus, make a change in me. Give me a renewing. Renew my strength, Lord Jesus. Restore my joy. I remember before I found Jesus, I used to call my mother when I needed strength. I had all my prostitute girls around me. I had all kinds of people around me that said they loved me. But the, but the kind of love that they were giving me was not what I was looking for. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Because some of you have lost. Some of you have gained what you wanted and lost what you had. And what you had was what was for you. And now what you've gained, truly realize that, uh-uh, this ain't going to work. Remember Jesus saves. Remember that he keeps and he sanctifies and he fills. He will fill you with his love. He will fill you with his grace. Because he says his grace is sufficient to keep you. And I just want to tell you, oh, ah, I got Jesus on my journey. Hallelujah. Because I can't make it by myself. I got Jesus on my journey because when, when everybody else fails, Jesus never fails. He never fails. He is my everything. He is my today and my tomorrow. He is the I am that I am. He's the great Jehovah Jireh. He's the great El Shaddai. Oh, how wonderful is his name. How marvelous is he. Oh God, I thank you because you came not for the righteous. Because I'd never receive you. Because I'm a sinner. Need only saving grace, Lord. I'm only saved through faith in you, Lord. For those who are out there who are hearing this tape, I want to call you right now. I want to tell you that God is real. Because, because I've found out how real he is. There's so many testimonies that I can truly tell you about. But hear me, friend. This tape that I'm doing, it is not a Jerry Thompson thing. I use the name The Equalizer because together, united we stand. Let us even the odds to the children out there who, are, who have no refuge. This tape is available to each and every one of you out there who's dealing the drugs who's carrying the gun. Believe me, God is going to work a miracle through this tape if you put this gun down. I truly believe that. Because when I use his name, I, unless he has called me, I learn not to say God says, but through faith, if you have faith, if you own one of these tapes right now and you're listening, participate. Because united we stand, divided we fall. Believe. Hallelujah. Reach out right now and give somebody one of these tapes. Somebody that you know that is in need to hear these tapes. A friend of yours. Auntie, your cousin. Reach out and give them something good. The substance. The word of God. What greater gift can you give to another individual? And I pray to God that this testimony may help you and somebody out there. Because it helped me to put my gun down. It helped me to leave the prostitution alone, to leave the strip joints, to leave all. Because the Lord tells me that all things have passed away and all things have become new. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, His grace is sufficient to keep us. Now that you've heard my true life testimony as to why I put the gun down, there is a part two, that's right, a part two coming up on the next broadcast. So don't miss our next show. Also coming soon will be why I picked the gun up in the first place. What leads a young man to picking up a gun? What did he go through? All the problems and what led him to become pure pressure? You're going to hear my true life testimony as to why I picked the gun up in the first place. Don't miss it. Vision of Truth is graciously funded through the purchase of CDs and DVDs, through those buying and selling a home or business, through individuals who require a bridge loan, or by simply booking Jerry Thompson for your next special event. Visit us at visionoftruth.com or call us at 647-692-7793. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is so wonderful to see that we're still serving the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. Please support this ministry right now by calling this number on the screen and ordering your CD by Evangelist Jerry Thompson. Please call now and support this ministry and help us get guns on the street. That's it. Oh. I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. Coming from Jamaica. The reggae style. I'm glad to be home again. Turn me up. Woo! Hey! Mm. Yes, I'm glad to be home again. Can't really say where I've been. Said I've searched the world over and I've done most things. But I'm glad to be home again. My mother and father are waiting for me Close by the window near the sea They're watching and waiting with arms open wide And little sister is standing outside I'm glad to be home again Can't really say where I've been Said I've searched the world over and I've done most things Now oh, I'm glad to be home again Oh Father, oh Father, won't you please let me in I'm so sorry for the things that I've done I've wasted my days and nights in sin Now that I'm home, won't you please let me in Oh, Father, oh, Father, won't you please let me in? I'm so sorry for the things that I've done. I've wasted my days and nights in sin. Now that I'm home, won't you please let me in? I'm glad to be home again. Can't really say where I've been. Said I've searched the world over and I've done most things Now I'm glad to be home again Father, oh Father, won't you please let me in? I'm so sorry for the things that I've done. I've wasted my days and nights in sin. Now that I'm home, won't you please let me in? I'm glad to be home again. Can't really say where I've been. Said I've searched the world over and I've done most things Now I'm glad to be home again I'm glad to be home Yes, again. like the prodigal son, my boy has come home We shall kill the fatted calf We're gonna give him back the family ring We're also gonna put him in the best attire Welcome home, son Oh, we all love you If you're out there, God loves you Call home Call that number on that screen. Hello, welcome to Vision of Truth. We'll be right back. I'm not a preacher man that's coming with you, throwing the Bible at you, looking down at you. I am you, my brother. But with a difference, I made a choice. And the choice that I chose was Jesus Christ. That was the only difference. I chose Jesus Christ. Choose ye to whom he served. A man cannot serve two masters. We're moving towards a new era of change. We 
We are moving towards a new era of change. Always remembering where old fashioned friendliness remains. Oh, so come along and join with us again and again. Cause we're moving towards a new era of change. We are moving towards a new era of change. Always remembering where old fashioned friendliness remains. Oh, so come along and join with us again and again. Cause we're moving towards a new era of change. So tell me why. Why, oh, why, oh, why? So tell me why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? So tell me why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? Why do you cry? Why do you sigh? Why do you ever want to say goodbye? Cause we're moving towards a new era of change. Many of you are wondering how you can help in this ministry. I say to you, call now to order your CD. They're only $10. Shipping and handling, I think it comes up to about $15. Just order now. Log on. And that's how you help. But there are many of you out there who have homes and who's thinking of buying a home in the future to get guns off the street to help me to do motivational seminar, crime and drug prevention all around the world. If you own any kind of real estate that you want to sell, I have agents all over the world in over 200 countries that can assist you. Call that number right now and have us sell your property for you. We will get the highest value for it because we have the top agent and agencies that is working with us. Vision of Truth is a ministry that is touching lives and making a difference. We light candles. We don't curse darknesses because the darkness is there for us to go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and set the captive free. If you want to purchase real estate, you also call us. We're here for you, to you, and because of you. We will assist you in making sure you get the best deal on a home to make sure it's not just a house. It's a home, and our blessings will definitely go with it. In moving into your home, you will get prayer, and also in purchasing that home, we'll make sure that we have someone to assist you also with financing. May God bless you, and thank you. Until next time. Thank you for tuning into Vision of Truth. Sometimes in life it may seem that you are alone, but you're not alone. God is with you. Vision of Truth Outreach Ministries, where a nobody can become a somebody. Why? Because I was you, but with a difference. I got involved in drugs and crime and on my way to take a man's life, but I'm one of the stories that turned out good. And I got many stories like mine to bring to you each and every week from around the world. Remember, man's reject is God's project. And who God hires, no man fire. Amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing what my God can do. It's amazing, amazing.